Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to cover SageMaker and we're going to dig a little bit into the details, what it is and how it works and so on. So let's get started. So Amazon SageMaker is a fully managed machine learning workflow platform that provides services on data labeling. So if you want to perform supervised training, as you guys recall, we actually have to collect data. And the problem is we have to label the data. And actually data label labeling in practice is a very time consuming job. It's, it's a headache. It's a very costly job. So you have to be very careful with it. And luckily, Amazon SageMaker can provide you with basically services to actually label the data. And we covered that so many times in the past using uh, Amazon uh, SageMaker Ground Truth. If you guys remember, we were able to actually label our data using uh, Ground Truth, and we were able to leverage the power of basically the entire globe, entire workforce. So we can actually leverage what we call the mechanical Turks to actually label the data for us. So you can put bounding boxes around image, you can label text, and you can label as well for to perform semantic segmentation, if you guys remember. Amazon SageMaker doesn't stop at the labeling part though. It actually helps you to model, to build the model. So there are tons of built-in algorithms within SageMaker as well. It helps you train the model, it helps you tune the model, and it helps you deploy the model as well. So it's kind of, you know, managing the entire workflow end to end, pretty amazing. You just have some photos and you have no idea what to do. Go to SageMaker, design everything from scratch until you actually deploy it in practice. What's amazing about SageMaker is that it leverages the power of AWS. Well, if you want storage, well, AWS has the best storage ever. It's S3, durable, available. Well, if you want some compute, well, we have everything for you. We have, you know, EC2, you can, you can instantiate instances. You can, you know, like leverage spot instances if you're, cost, uh, if you're watching for cost. And there are tons of other features, you know, and they are being added every single day. Well, what if you don't know programming? Well, all the algorithms are available for you. They have templates for everything, basically. And all the algorithms are developed, obviously, by Amazon, you know, like, and they are hiring, like, like you know, like, they have already thousands of, you know, of, of developers, like the best of the best of the world. So you find the algorithms, it's really hard to compare with the algorithms because, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, like, that's it. They have the compute, they have the money, they have res resources. So the, the actual algorithms are actually amazing. Like the performance, you would be like stunned when you actually run an algorithm and find, you know, like reaching 99.99%. <laughs> All right. So that's for data labeling, model building, training, tuning, and deployment. So SageMaker allows data scientists and developers to build scalable AI machine learning models easily and efficiently. And models could be deployed in production at a much faster rate and with a fraction of the cost. You guys can explore SageMaker here as well. And basically we have three main kind of categories. First, first build, how to build the model, how to train the model, and how to deploy the model. So from a model building standpoint, SageMaker offers data labeling service. That's one of them. And it can actually help you as well with pre-built available notebooks with the state-of-the-art algorithms on the AWS marketplace. So you can actually leverage in-house kind of, you know, developed algorithms by uh, by AWS. You can also leverage, you know, like uh, other, um, if you wanted, for example, to, to, let's say, download a train model to perform, let's say, image classification. Now, Amazon, Amazon SageMaker has offered AWS Marketplace. So you can actually go there and actually buy train model, you know, from other people. So now it's, we are not selling and buying products anymore. We're actually selling and buying, you know, mini brains. It's, it's, it's insane, you know, but Again, this is just the beginning, but it's, it's, it's incredible. And then train, you can train models using EC2 instances, and you can leverage on-demand and spot instances if you wanted to save, save on, uh, on cost. You can manage environments for training, and you can perform as well, and that's very, very useful, hyperparameter optimization tuning. So you can actually like tune the parameters of the model. I'm gonna show you as well an example, it's a lot of fun. And it's actually hyperparameter tuning. It's actually very, very, um, time-consuming task, very expensive task. So SageMaker offers automatic hyperparameters tuning and you will find that it actually saves you a lot of time. You just, you know, specify what parameters you want to tune and they just like run multiple runs based to give you the best value of the hyperparameters. And then to deploy, 
you can easily deploy and scale the models and you can perform auto scaling as well that with basically can save you up to 75 percent all right so what are the services available in amazon SageMaker? all right so there are tons of stuff okay so first there are ground truth there is amazon SageMaker neo we're going to cover all that there is amazon text track to extract text amazon transcribe there is amazon translate obviously to translate aws deep learning amis there is deep lens this is basically like like a camera like a video camera that way you can deploy deep learning models on it there is deep racer if you want to do reinforcement learning there is amazon comprehend if you wanted to understand what the actual text mean if you want to do let's say sentiment analysis for example you can use amazon comprehend to do it you can use amazon elastic inference you can use amazon forecast to predict the future you can use amazon lex you can use amazon amazon personalize amazon poly if you wanted to talk basically from text to speech and there is Amazon recognition to detect and classify images. Again, we're going to discuss all that in great details. Again, but just to give you a sense of what to expect. We have a lot, of, a lot of content to cover. So the question is how to perform training and testing in, in a SageMaker. So what you could do first is that you need to actually have the models available. I'm sorry, have the training data and the testing data available in Amazon S3. So you basically have S3 bucket. You put in the training data. You put in the testing data. And you can train the model and actually after the model is trained the actual artifacts of the model basically like like trained weights and and, and all the hyperparameters and all that we're going to be saved in an amazon s3 bucket as well all right okay so one important uh, element as well is that you can train basically amazon SageMaker in in one of two modes either pipe mode and file mode i know that's a little bit kind of early but i just wanted to cover it here so basically for file mode, you, these are the formats that you need to actually train your algorithms or you actually the actual data has to be in. So for file mode, you need to, the data to be in CSV format, JSON format, and Parquet format. For pipe mode though, you need, it to have in, in, you need the data to be in record IO protobuf. And you will find that that will speed up the training process significantly. So pipe mode allows for much faster training and less disk space since data is streamed directly to the training instance container instead of being downloaded first. Data is obtained from Amazon S3 using an optimized multi-thread process. So basically, if you wanted to speed up the process, you can use this format and use, which, which is record IO protobuf, and you can use pipe mode. So for optimal performance, using record IO protobuf format in pipe mode is recommended and that will speed up the process dramatically. So before we dig into the details of Amazon SageMaker, let's take a look at the difference between GPU, CPU, FPGAs, and ASIC. So first, CPU stands for Center, Central or Center Processing Unit. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit and ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuits. So if you wanted to train your model, you wanted to leverage one of those, okay? And each one basically offers, there are some of advantages and some of disadvantages. I just wanted to cover that because, again, it's important to understand that we have a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, if you wanted to cut costs, if you want to have more flexibility, if you want to have more speed, there are tons of other parameters that you need to know as a machine learning practitioner. So from a CPU standpoint, CPU is a basic sequential processor. This is basically like think of it as a generalist. When you go to FPGA, it's from its name, it's called field programmable. So FPGA is an integrated circuit designed to be configurable after manufacturing. A GPU is designed to process images and graphics. So it's designed mainly for graphics. And then we have been able to leverage that to train deep learning models. And then the ASIC, these are circuit designed for a specific target application. All right, what about the advantages and disadvantages of each? So CPU, they are easy to program. Again, they are generalist, so it could be applied in many applications, and they are relatively cheap. For the FPGA, they could be configured after being installed in the field, so this, that's a good thing. And then they can support parallel processing. From a GPU perspective, they are geared towards image analysis and graphics applications. And for the ASIC, these are kind of very optimized hardware for a specific application with ultimate performance and power consumption. For example, if you want to design an ASIC to only do, to only do training of deep learning models, 
you are going to design it somehow to have an extreme performance specifically for that specific task and for extreme performance when it comes to power consumption as well. What about the disadvantages? So from a CPU perspective, they are slow with no or limited parallel processing. FPGA, they are very hard to program because again, they are field programmable. GPU, they can consume a high amount of power but for the ASIC, obviously, because they are designed for a specific task, they are very rigid, they have very high cost, and they need a very long development time as well to develop. Okay, but once developed, you can leverage that and, you know, have ultimate performance and extreme power. Obviously, you can select within each one of these categories, and if you wanted to, depends on, depends on your application, you can select whatever, um, basically, hardware to train your model and to perform inference as well moving forward. All right, okay, and that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, we are going to cover part two of AWS StageMaker. So please stay tuned and please enjoy AWS Machine Learning Certification course, and I will see you guys in the next lecture.